What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back into Barley Studios for another awesome video. Now, here recently I've really been going out of my way to kind of challenge myself to create a lot more canvas work. Uh, mostly in acrylics. I'd like to start oils up again soon, but for now this is what we have. Now in this video we are going to be continuing the uh, to work on the hydrangeas in the bushes painting. Uh, this is a painting for my mother for Christmas of 2023, so I hope she enjoys that. We're going to be using Liquitex Satin for this. Uh, of course, with a lot more paintings comes a lot more varnishing, because I do want to protect these just for long-term use, and um, so that it reduces the overall wear and tear. I really do like the satin look for the majority of my paintings. Unless I'm going for an ultra-glossy look, satin is usually what I, uh, I use for most of them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a little brush here and we're going to pop this cap and begin to get this on here. Now this is a real time video. Uh, so as you can see it only runs around five to six minutes long. It doesn't really take long to do this in total if you just want to do one layer. Uh, of course if you do multiple layers then you need to let that set up and cure probably like maybe overnight and then do the next layer the next day. I will also be uh, uh, making a sketch to go on the back of this canvas uh, here shortly as well which will be found in the hydrangea playlist here on youtube so if you want to see that then it will also be linked at the very end of this video now for this painting i only put one layer of uh, varnish on this one i just didn't feel like it really uh, ne needed more than that so uh, as you can see we're just going to stick to one layer for this but we will also be varnishing the back side of the of the canvas uh, after i finish that sketch which i'm not going to include in this video i have quite a few um varnishing videos that i've been trying to produce and that way i can just kind of build up in itself its own playlist so if somebody just wants to really just see how i prefer to varnish a lot of my paintings then they can kind of, kind of go back through all of those videos and just kind of binge watch them uh, and then if somebody's just now getting into using varnishes then they can kind of see the techniques and the brush strokes and uh, how much I apply to each individual canvas, uh, and some of the problems that I run to, into when I when I do uh, varnish in different ways, whether it's a different um, application, a brush or sponge or uh, anything like that. So, um, just uh, you, you have a la large amount of content here on my YouTube channel that you can enjoy and partake of, uh, and those who are just kind of getting into this, like I was at one point in time. Uh, they'll be able to find tons of content here for them. I'm really excited to be able to produce that for them to uh, to use and uh, to grow their skills as well. As you can see, as we zoom back out there, you can really see how the glossiness looks. Of course, that will dry in a nice, beautiful satin color. And only under a high glare situation would you see that clear film of, uh, of protection there. I'm also going to give it a light coat on the exterior of the 12 inch round canvas. I believe this is a 12 inch. It may be a 10 inch. I cannot remember. I think there's a 12 inch right there below um, this canvas that we're working on just to kind of keep, give me something to sit this on top of while it cures up. However, um, I think I'm pretty sure there's a 10 inch. Now, now I've got myself all second guessing it, but uh, it, it was a very fun little painting to create for her. Uh, and I really do hope she enjoys it for her Christmas gift. As you can see here, I'm really just going out of my way to, more, more than anything, just kind of keep those drips from the, the top layer of the varnish uh, from kind of dripping or collecting on the edges, as well as I don't want to apply too much varnish to the outside edge of the canvas to where it kind of uh, drips as well. I just don't want any of those, um, those drips to be there, even if they do dry pretty semi-clear. Um, sometimes they have a tendency to lean towards like a dull white color uh, if, if they're pretty dense in uh, actual um, varnish. So I just want to kind of reduce that if I can. I will apply the varnish directly to my brush just because I don't have much more to work with here. Uh, and I don't want to have to pull any more varnish up on top of the uh, canvas there. So just applying just a little bit to the, var uh, to the end of the brush and then just kind of wiping that on where I see uh, the need for it uh, is the way to go about that. As you can see, it's just a really nice relaxing process. It's not supposed to be you know, stressful or anything like that, and it shouldn't be. Uh, I imagine if we're doing large canvases, yeah, the, you know, you kind of got to expedite and move a little bit faster, use a larger brush if needed. Uh, but when we're doing something small like this, there really is no need to rush. You can just really use a small brush, even like I'm using here and just really take your time to kind of get it done the right way. I do leave a few uh, thick brush strokes on the front of the flowers there. As you can see as I turn it, you can kind of see those glare in the, in the, uh, the light from above. 
I'm not really too upset by that, and I, I really, it really doesn't bother me in any way. If you do get those, I would assume you can just kind of continuously work those out by adding maybe one or two more layers, and it kind of reduces the amount of uh, amount of glare over little raised edges like that that were left by the brush strokes. As you can see, it's not too bad. I really do enjoy putting these videos out, and I really do hope y'all enjoy uh, watching them. I'm going to start trying to keep these as short as possible, but while also maintaining the overall quality of the video content. Go ahead and cap that lid there, and then here it is in all its glory. We'll go ahead and get a zoomed in view of what it looks like kind of wet here. You can kind of see I left some of those brush strokes behind on the varnish. I'm okay with that. It's no big deal. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and give you a side screen here of a kind of a highlight clip of it all being finished up. What an absolute awesome painting this turned out to be. And as we roll into this highlight clip towards the end of this video, you can really see what a great protective finish, even just one layer of Liquitex satin varnish gave us. If you wanted to continue on getting a, a thicker layer of protection, you can always do so. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and I will catch you on the next awesome playlist. Later, guys.